So before that I start demonstrating our application, I want to tell you that you can download this application and test it by your own. So this link will be available in the resources. So make sure if you have an Android phone to install this application and try it by your own before buying this course. And of course, you can check the other applications that I have. I will also do some separated tutorials about it and leave the links in the description. Hi everyone and welcome back. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate for you how this app works. So when the user open up the application for the first time, this screen will be the first screen to be shown. And of course, the first time the user will not be logged in. So we must handle the add to cart and add to wish list. So we will not allow the user to add to his cart if he's not logged in. This is why if I press on this button, I will get an error. It says that there is no user found. So the user must log in first. So what do we have in this screen? We have this swiper in here and we have this on sale widget and we have this feeds widgets. So for the on sale widgets, of course, in here we have the products that are on sale and everything is coming from the Firebase. And down below we have this feeds widgets. Now we are showing only four products for the feeds in here, but if the user want to see all, he can press on browse all and he will be able to see all the products in here and he will be able to search. For example, if I search for something, it will appear like this, but if I search for something not found, a new screen will appear and look like this to tell the user to try another keyword. Now, if the store is empty, we will show an empty screen in here and we will show a text field to show the user that there is no product yet in this store. So, of course, now I cannot show it to you, but later on during the development, you will be able to see it. Same for the on sale widgets. If we don't have any item on sale, we will show him here a text field and in the on sale screen, we will show him an empty screen. So we will show him some kind of UI or friendly UI to tell him that there is no products on sale. Now for the second screen in this bottom bar, the user can navigate using the category. So the user, if he wants to see fruits, for example, he can press here and only fruits will be shown in this screen. And of course, he can search in here and for searching only the search will be applied on the fruits category, not for the old products. Now let's come back. And if we don't have any product in the category or any product that belong to any category, for example, in the spices, we don't have any product. So we will show the user this screen. Let's go back. And for the third screen and this bottom bar, we have this card screen. Of course, this card screen, we have it like this because we didn't, the user didn't add anything to his card yet. And I cannot show it to you now because I must log in first. So later on in this lecture, I will log in and try to add to cart to show you how it looks. Now I will go back here and show you one more thing. If the user want to see the product details, he can press on the feeds in here, for example, on any product that you want or on the on sale widget. And this product will be shown here like this. And of course the user can will be able to change the quantity here and he will have directly the price here and he will be able to add it to his cart. Let's go back now. And the last screen would be the user screen. So in this screen, we will fetch the user information such as the address, his name and his email address, for example. The user will be able to change between two different themes, the light and dark theme. So the dark theme will be like this. The colors are so friendly and I will keep it light theme for this demonstration. The user will be able to forget his password and he can see the viewed in here. So if he view any product, it will be added to this screen and for the wish list it will look like this and of course because i didn't add anything yet to my wish list 
it is like this and uh, for the orders it will look also like this if there is no orders now what I'm gonna do is that I will come here and uh, see any product that I want for example or two different products then come back to the user screen go to the viewed and in here we will have the products like this so this is the will be the history of this user we will be able to see the viewed product now let's go back and now what I'm gonna do is try to log in so here is the login screen the user will be able to log in using an email and password he will be able to log in using his gmail and in the future I might add new login methods such as mobile authentication and fingerprint the user will be able to forget his password of course and he will be able to sign up so the screens will look like this now I will try to log in using my email and in here I will enter a wrong password of course we will have error handling like this now I will enter the correct password so while logging in you can see that loading screen and now I have this screen so now what I'm gonna do is I will add something to my cart I will add this apricot here then go to the cart and I have it here now if the user want to add to his card and change something for example the quantity let's say 16 or 13 and add to card here now we have this grapes here with quantity of 13 the user will be able to change the quantity like this or change it directly by writing it here of course the total price will appear in here like this the user will be able to delete from his cart by pressing on this button the user will be able to delete from his cart by pressing on this button and he will be able to clear his cart now if I order now of course later on it will be available with the payment gateway now let's go to the orders and the orders will be available here with the date now I already added some products to my wishlist here it is I have this product here so I can remove it like this let's come back and the user will be able to see his information here his name his email and he can change his address for example if I type anything here update it will be directly updated on the screen like this okay so I think uh, this is all for the app demonstration of course during the development you will see more things but for the app demonstration this is all what I wanted to show you so I'll see you on the next one